Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day, number 37. As always, thank you for tuning in, for subscribing, and for, uh, for all the great feedback. I really appreciate it. In today's Tip of the Day, I am going to show you very briefly how you can create a light kit, something that Valve calls a light kit, uh, which is a quick way of spawning uh, a set of lights to illuminate a prop, an object, a model, or a character in your scenes. Now, here's what I'm not going to do. I am not a professional animator, and I do not have the depth of experience necessary to properly teach you how to do lighting for your animations. What I can show you is how you can spawn lights, and I can also show you and discuss with you a little bit about some of the basics of lighting. But I am not an expert. However, there are people who are. And uh, there is a tutorial by Ronald the Cock on uh, YouTube. It's uh, uh, Just search uh, character lighting tutorial, and I will link to it in the uh, uh, description of this video as well. Uh, because he goes into detail and shows you the, 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 the nitty gritty of how to do lighting properly, uh, the basics of character lighting. What I'm going to show you is how to quickly use a light kit, which is a little bit different, uh, but it does um, it is a valuable technique. As you can see, I've spawned a, a soccer ball here in a dust bowl. This is in the back of the blue spawn where it's kind of dark. I chose a dark area to kind of give you a sense of what's going on. So I expand the, uh, the body of the soccer ball and I find the, uh, the, a joint that I want to illuminate, in this case just the soccer ball. And then I go to the DAG Utilities menu and I select Create Lights and it will create five objects a light kit, key light, bounce light, fill light, and rim light. The light kit is sort of like a wrapper for all of these. If I grab the light kit, now that it is in the uh, the thing, I can grab and move the whole light kit and it moves all of them together, which is a very helpful uh, thing. However, let's talk about what each of these are. Uh, the key light, you will hear this as you, as you learn more about lighting and uh, animation. The key light is the light that does the main work. This is what lights the object that you want to uh, to illuminate or draw attention to. It's what it's the main the main light. It's the one that, you know, if you're not familiar with how to do lighting, you'd probably put a light right behind the camera and point it straight at the character. That's your key light. The key light does most of the illumination of the object, but it is not going to illuminate it entirely. The uh, bounce light is one that you will sometimes see, other times you will not. And uh, oh, let me show you the key light, by the way. If we adjust the intensity, we can see that the key light is up there and it's volumetric and is uh, illuminating from the upper right. So kind of providing the main illumination for this soccer ball. The bounce light is down below and is essentially just providing a little bit of light underneath. And as you can see, if I turn the intensity down on it all the way, now we've got this dark area that is, uh, there's this really bright area on the top of it and a darker area on the bottom. But that's a, a more pleasant look, I think, anyway. Uh, the fill light, and I'm going to select that, is going to be the one that kind of uh, fills in the, the rest of it. And the fill light will usually be a very gentle light and just kind of provides a nice fill that, uh, and a lot of sometimes will serve to prevent the object that is being lit from being too starkly lit or from, from popping out from the background too much or from producing an effect that looks odd. The fill light is just kind of like, uh, there's a lot of dark areas. We're going to fill them in with this nice fill light. The rim light is um, in the back here, and if we adjust the intensity on that one, you can see that the rim light is actually on the back of the object, and what the rim light is doing is it's highlighting the rim of the object so as to allow us to see where the object ends and where the background begins. Now, in the case of this one, the key light's awfully bright, and I'm going to disable volumetrics on it, and then I'm going to... Uh, draw its intensity down just a little bit, and then I'm going to take the, the rim light's intensity down just a little bit. So that's a little nicer, at least I think anyway. It's not quite so stark. Another thing I might try is spawning an animation set for the camera and turning down the bloom scale a bit, because what I was getting was a lot of bloom there. So uh, that is serves to show you how you can uh, uh, very quickly spawn what Valve calls a light kit in Source Filmmaker. A word of advice, don't rely on the light kits to be perfect when you spawn them. Uh, they will be good, but they're not going to be great. And you're probably going to want to adjust the lighting once you've created a light kit 
or you should maybe uh, follow some tutorials like the character lighting tutorial I referred to earlier and uh, do your own lighting manually, which can produce even better effects. But for what it's worth, a quick and dirty way to spawn a set of lights that will illuminate an object is to use the light kit, which again, you'll need to, it won't work on the root of most models. There's no DAG utilities menu. You actually have to expand it down to a joint and uh, select DAG utilities, create lights. And uh, we will talk about some of these other options under here another time. Why did I do that? There we go. So for what it's worth, that is your tip of the day, number 37. I am your host, Jimmer Linz, and I thank you for tuning in. I hope you're having a great day and enjoy using Source Filmmaker.